You go on ahead, Joe. I'll secure the perimeter. We'll meet up later. Hey guys, and welcome back to Perfect Dark. We're, um... Wait a minute. What, what perimeter? We're on a boat. We just swam up... Anyway, uh, we're aboard the Pelagic 2, which is the government deep-sea research vessel the president mentioned in the... at the end of the last video. Or the last story video. Uh, it appears that Datadyne, after their plan screwed up, decided screw it and just decided to commandeer the ship and staff it with their orange coverall goons. Ah, I never liked him anyway. So we're here to screw up their plans some more. Activate the alarm! <laughs> Dance. Now this room here is the uh, reactor that powers the ship. They'll be unable to conduct operations without any power. And we're here to shut it down. So what, there's eight switches here, and only four of them we need. When I was younger, I used to think this was a memory memory puzzle. What you would do is just walk up to the different switches, and that meant they were good and that meant they were bad. But it turns out, if you use the x-ray scanner, they show up green. And uh, this is actually written in the mission briefing. It turns out when I was a kid, I just didn't pay attention. Anyway, now that all four buttons have been switched, we come here and hit this other one on the end of this dong-looking thing, and that's objective complete. There are a couple objectives upstairs, but uh, first there's a secret weapon to get. If we kill enough of these guys without being, uh, without an alarm being set off, one of them will drop a uh, secret weapon. So this guy over here in the corner gave us double silenced Falcon 2s. Turns out I missed a guy, but um, yeah, I was kind of pissed off at him. The alarm only actually summons bad guys in these these corridors here, this sort of circular area, uh, and I've killed them all. This must be like a sub's control system. We need to recall the submarine so Elvis and I can can go down and see what Datadyne's looking at. This is actually the fourth objective, but we're going to take care of it now because we're here. Now, I think I got confused with the level in Perfect Dark Zero, because for some reason I thought that something was hidden inside the crates. But, uh, and then I sort of noticed that you can see the lower levels uh, by looking down. And I also sort of noticed that this is not really built like any ship that I've ever seen. We'll be back for that guy. We're going to leave him alone for now. And we're going to head upstairs. More gasoline-powered video cameras. It's a terrorist! <laughs> I like how he calls me a terrorist when they're the guys what commandeering a government ship. 
So we want to know what Datadyne's up to, and we do this by beating the crap out of their scientists and stealing their research. Without the autopilot and the GPS, ship will wander off station. <laughs> Pull the plug on that. Now! Please, just don't hurt me! Die, you traitors! I'm really not sure how he expected that to go when it takes him that long to pull out his gun and warns us that he's doing it. Well, thanks for the help, guys. Pretty much all we have left to do at this point is to uh, go get Elvis, or go find Elvis, and then head to the bottom of the sea. Now, since Elvis is kind of a jerk, he is pretty much at the farthest point possible on the ship. This whole stealth part of this mission's over, so let's go loud. There's someone. You're going to notice in this section that I kind of compulsively reload. Come on. They actually have a fair number of guys guarding the lower levels here, despite the fact that I can't seem to notice anything down here that would require guarding. Get I have a little bit of trouble picking up the laptop gun here. Uh, although I don't actually need it anymore. I think that was the last guy I kill in the level. Joanna, what took you so long? Follow me! Let's get off this old town! Screw you, Elvis. We're not doing what he says. Uh, he wants us to follow him through the last part of the level that has enemies in it, and it's full of explosive crates that like to kill both he and I. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of an exploit instead. Remember this room? The last objective is behind those big blast doors there, and unfortunately, it's locked. However, thanks to the x-ray scanner, we can see the control point and activate it through the wall. If you listen closely, you can actually hear Elvis fighting. Right. The diving operation has been disrupted on the surface. Time for a swim. I hope the government don't want to use this ship anytime <laughs> soon. Do you think we were a little heavy-handed? No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> 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 
and that was the Pelagic 2. It's a little bit of a confusing level, but once you learn it, it's alright. Uh, the one thing I really still don't understand about it, though, is that they go to all this trouble to disrupt diving operations by cutting power, wrecking their GPS, and actually apparently planting explosives somewhere on the boat. But then they go down themselves. So, I hope they're able to get back to the surface. Anyway, join me next time where we're going to visit the bottom of the ocean.